Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I wanted to follow up with a sequel to my previous video, which I uploaded last night. Um, and I've been thinking about that a lot and what I talked about in that video, and I thought I would do a part two to that because today at work I was thinking a lot. I came to the realization that I've I've lost myself, or at least I feel that way. It's hard to explain now that I think about it, but when I was thinking at work, um, it, it all kind of came together. It made sense. I was like, I realize now that I've lost myself. And it's kind of crazy because I'm thinking back to like a couple of years ago, I would say that was like the peak of my life. Um, I'd finally reached a point in my life where I could say I was honestly happy. Um, and I've never been truly happy. I've had happy moments, but I've never really felt happy in myself until a couple of years ago. And it's kind of weird because at the time I didn't really notice it. I hated 2020, but now I'm like nostalgic for it. I hated it at the time, but I find myself being nostalgic for it now. Um, 2021 onward to like 2022, I would say it was a really good year. I want to say I found myself and I never really truly knew who I was. I, I had this personality that I just kind of accepted is me. It's, I guess you could say I accepted myself. I don't even think that's the right way of saying it because at the time I hated myself, but now it's like, I kind of miss that. I kind of miss being comfortable in my own skin. I miss being who I was. And although I don't miss the being overweight, I don't miss certain other things about myself back then, um, but I, I miss how I felt back then and how I just kind of became content. I miss how I was able to enjoy things. I had a personality which I didn't even know I had. You could literally probably find a video where I talked about that back then because I was still having bad days back then too. But I, I think in those videos, I was talking about how I feel like I don't have a personality. I don't know who I am. I'm just kind of this goofball that's just existing. When I look back at those times now, like through the rose tinted lenses, um, it, it's like I, I found myself, I had a personality. I just didn't know it. You know what I mean? And now it's like, I miss that. Um, I really miss how I used to be. And it's not like I can just put it back on. It's not like a personality. I haven't changed the way I project my personality. I still am the same when I'm around people. I'm the same as I always have been. Well, to a degree, I guess I've kind of toned it down a little, but I'm still kind of, when I'm around friends, true friends, like good friends, then I'm able to like be my full self. Um, I have been coming out of my shell a little more with my family and being more able to be, cause I'm with family. It's kind of different. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like, I'm kind of reserved when it comes to my family. I feel like I have nothing in common with most of them. So I just kind of just, I don't know. It's like you try to relate with someone, but you can't really, but you have to because you're family. But with friends, it's like, you can be as goofy as you want to make whatever kind of jokes and say whatever the most outlandish things is that you could think of. So I haven't changed in that aspect. Um, it's more the way I feel. I don't know. The way I feel back then is different to how I feel now. Like I genuinely felt happiness back then. Now I don't. I found enjoyment in things. Now I don't. I literally, I mean, back then I used to cry a lot too. Like I still, like I said, I still had bad days. I would be crying over things. I would be very sad, very emotional. But now I'm not, I'm not. It's weird. Like even that side of me is gone, which you would think is a good thing. I just don't really cry or any, like I'm not happy, I'm not sad. And this is what I mean by the video yesterday. Like the only way I can describe it is I feel numb. I lost myself. I think that was who, although I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of him at the time, that was me and I lost it. And now I miss him. It's like, it's like they say, I guess, you never really know what you've got until it's gone. And although I hated myself, like I said, I, I kind of miss it now. I miss how I used to feel because now I feel like I feel nothing. But I am on a self-improvement journey as of Monday <laughs> because uh, I was talking to one of my friends at work today and we were talking about like water and stuff like that. Like everybody's drinking a lot of water, which is a good thing. And I was really good at drinking water last year. That's all I drank really. Um, I cut down on the sodas and things like that. But now it's like, I just, somewhere along the line, I went around the time I'd lost myself. I just kind of slipped right back to my old 
habits again. I'm literally addicted to sodas. Like they were talking about how they go to the gym, how they go to bed at a reasonable hour, get like a certain amount of sleep. Um, they drink water, they eat healthy, and then there's just me, <laughs> just like the polar opposite. I'm literally a prime example of everything you shouldn't do in life. I'm literally addicted to soda. I vape a lot. I am just, I'm up all night. Like I just stay awake all night long. Um, I have little to no sleep. And then I, I'm cranky all day because I'm tired and I have no energy to do anything. Um, I used to drink. I used to go for runs. Uh, I mean, I used to drink water. I used to go for runs. Um, the one good thing I would say that's different about me now than last year was I was drinking back then, like alcohol. Not like I wasn't an alcoholic. I didn't have a problem, but I was like drinking with friends and stuff. But now it's like I, I am totally 100% sober. Uh, I just decided one day I don't want to drink anymore because nothing good came from drinking, at least for me. So that is one thing I that is one pro, I guess you could say, um, about my current situation. But everything else is just kind of like, you know, I'm, my life is just a fucking mess. Like I literally live on junk food. I literally eat trash. I drink a lot of soda. I vape a lot, which I, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, except now and then I'll have like a sneaky little cigarette. But uh, other than that, I don't smoke and I don't long for smoking. Um, I don't miss it. It's like, it's weird because being a current vapor, which I could do with cutting down on that because I literally vape more than I breathe actual oxygen. But whenever I do have a cigarette, which usually used to happen when I was drinking, um, it's like, I, it's like, oh yeah, I'm really in the mood for one. Get all excited about it, have one, and then I'm like, that tasted like shit. It smells like shit. Now, I smell disgusting because of it. Um, and that happened every time. And that's when it came to a point where I was like, I just don't want to smoke cigarettes anymore because it's just, it, it seemed like it was going to be better like than vaping. Like I was like, oh yeah, I can't wait to have a cigarette. This is going to be a nice, nice little treat. But then every, there was never a time I had one and was like, that was worth it. Every time I would like, I would be like, I don't know why I just did that. But yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess like there is some pros about me and then some cons as well uh, but as of monday because i have been feeling very fatigued and very uh i guess dehydrated i'm not sleeping very good i'm aching a lot um i i need to really start going to bed a little earlier and also i really want to start drinking more water i literally bought a stanley cup recently to make me drink more water and i just haven't even started yet so i'm hopefully gonna start monday I've like stocked up the freezer with ice and everything like that so I can have a nice cold water, especially with it being summertime now. I want to drink more water and um, yeah, just try overall, just try to improve myself. And I guess that could, that could also be, I mean, I know what I'm eating and what I'm drinking. It's not doing me any good. And I, sometimes I just don't eat much at all. And that could also explain, you know, I'm not drinking much water. I'm not eating much. There's really no wonder why I feel the way I do just exhausted mentally drained all the time so I, I guess i'm on this self-improvement journey as of monday of course like i i'm still having treat day on the weekend i'm not cutting that out that's the only thing that brings me happiness in my life is treat day but yeah i just wanted to kind of follow up on the last video because it kind of came to me a little more today uh exactly how i felt and yeah i, I guess i just feel like i've lost myself but hopefully after a lot of thought and everything like that, I will find myself again. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to finish up on that topic yesterday. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and chase your dreams.